This is a short story behind Glasscock County, Georgia. Hi, I'm Alan. This is episode 5 of Georgia History Today. Creek Indians originally held the land now encompassed by Glasscock County. The first white settlers were German immigrants establishing a community called Georgetown in 1750, but they abandoned it when they moved to Pennsylvania in 1792. The Indians left the area after signing the Treaty of Augusta in 1783. Glasscock County was created from Warren County in 1857 and named after Thomas Glasscock of Augusta, a veteran of the War of 1812 and the Seminole Wars. He served in the state legislature and the U.S. Congress. Thomas Glasscock was not alive when the county was formed and named after him. The county seat, Gibson, was established on land given by Calvin Logue. William Gibson, a judge, donated $500 towards the building of the courthouse, inspiring the county founders to name the town after him. After lots were surveyed in 1858, settlers began arriving to establish homes and businesses. The first courthouse was built in 1858 and it was replaced in 1919 with a new courthouse. The county's economy before the Great Depression relied heavily on agriculture. The chief farm products were beef, corn, cotton, cow peas, peanuts, pork, poultry, and small grains. The Augusta, Gibson, and Sandersville Railroad ran through the county from 1885 until 1934. A few factories making boxes, fertilizer, and brooms, and canny peas operated in the county, and a chalk mine operated from 1910 to 1935, but mostly had gone out of business by the time of the Great Depression. Curtailment of railroad service to the county in 1934 further slowed industrial development. After World War II, lumber and lumber product overtook the agriculture as the county's economic mainstay. That's a brief history of Glasscock County, Georgia. That wraps up episode 5, my first on historic markers. If you enjoyed this, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.